Waterboy. I'm just Ed. Uh, this is my house. Uh, last night about 1 a.m. a car came into the came into the house here. Um, I think we heard a couple of bangs beforehand in about less than 10 seconds. The car we heard a big bang, and then I came running down here. First instinct was to check on my daughter Rachel. And I couldn't push the door open because oh it seemed God. like the debris or something was pushed against it. I managed to open it like so big, shouted her name, and she was fine, she said. But I can smell the, um, I can smell, like it was really heat, I can feel the heat. I can, I can smell like the fumes, uh, the car looked like it was still running, still. Um, so, and it was hard to breathe. Like Rachel said, it was hard to breathe. And true, I was having hard to breathe even in that little gap. So I took a sledgehammer and broke the side of the window to um, get some air in. And I think she was panicking at the time too because she was seeing more gunshots. And I think she was hearing it from the police or paramedics that was talking to the man in the vehicle. Uh, so after we broke the windows, uh, the RCMP said, back it up, they'll take it over from there. Um, the RCMP later said, the constable said that, okay, she's coming out and she's walking and that was a very, very big relief that she's coming out on her own.